are you all ready to hear about uh, the trial of Magneto and the MAGA crowd in X-Men? I really hope you guys are. And I know my video got ratioed when I said this is going to be absolute woke garbage, woke political garbage. Like, you don't know what you're talking about. It's going to be a great series. No, it's it's absolutely woke political garbage. Hollywood director argues X-Men 97 chose to adapt the trial of Magneto in order to take a swing at the MAGA crowd. Even in those rare moments when a piece of media refrains from bipartisan preaching, it seems Hollywood must go out of their way to force such a narrative upon it. This time, as horror director Joe Russo has attempted to claim that the adaptation of the classic The Trial of Magneto comic book storyline in X-Men 97 was done not as an homage to the series source material, but as a direct commentary on the MAGA crowd, written by franchise icon Chris Claremont and appearing in 1985 Uncanny X-Men Volume 200, the original Trial of Magneto story saw the eponymous Master of Magnetism attempting to convince the International Court of Justice that after years of, I don't know if I can say that on YouTube, terrorist activities and wanton bloodshed, his then recent turn to the side of angels was in fact genuine. And while the years since have seen Magneto bounce between the moral alignments more than perhaps any comic book character in history, this particular instance stands out as particularly memorable in the annals of comic book history thanks to the frank speech regarding mutant human coexistence he gives in the court in defense of his crimes. Look, Magneto was not a good guy. Magneto had a terrible back... It was a good backstory. It was terrible what happened in Magneto's backstory. But that doesn't justify his genocide of humans <laughs> and his enslavement of humans and what he wanted. All right, I'm going to skip the comment. I want to go, where are the quotes? I had all this highlighted. And everything decided to refresh today when I went to start the stream. And now I got to dig through it all again for you guys. Fuck. Especially this one, because it was a longer one. Everything else was kind of... Kind of short. I think this is where it started. Yeah, here we go. Taking to his personal Twitter account on March 21st, the Beyond Dark and the All Pair Nightmare director, not to be confused with the Avengers Infinity War and Endgame co director Joseph Russo, asserted Do you think the MAGA crowd has figured out that episode two of X Men 97 is about them and the January 6th insurrection yet, or nah? Met with pushback from fans, many of whom suggested that he may be reaching too hard to apply a current day lens to a story taken directly from 1985. Russo further argued some deeply stupid people in the comment section. My favorites are, but, but, but it's based on this old issue of Uncanny X-Men. My guys, there are 60 plus years of stories that could have been chosen to launch this new series with. Why this one? Met with pushback from supporters who begged Russo, don't do that. Can I just have one thing that isn't, isn't excused of being woke? The user later clarified that he meant the statement in the sense that he wanted to enjoy it without a bunch of people crapping on it and review bombing it because they are only now realizing it's woke. X-Men's been woke since 1963. Absolutely not. It has not been woke. It has not been woke. I did an entire video on how Stanley came out and said, well, that wasn't what I wrote into it. I mean, I, it's cool if you put your interpretation into it, but that's not what it what I meant by it. I just it was just lazy. But I mean, I guess that perfectly sums up the woke SJW crowd trying to put everything in there. They take the lazy writing and turn it into some crazy woke that narrative nonsense. X-Men has nothing to do with Trump, has nothing to do with January 6th, and it shouldn't have been alluded to whatsoever by anybody. X-Men is apolitical in realistic timeline. Sure, it's political in its own way with mutants and humans, but it has nothing to do with modern day. But I guess that's what happens when you get a weird, woke crowd who absolutely want to destroy everything and don't have a single creative bone in their body. They want to take something and be like, 
modern politics, modern politics, modern politics. And when you complain about it, they just scream and fight and say it's for kids. If it's for kids, then why are you making it? Why is that advertised? Why did you watch it? Are you a kid? But no, all they have is gaslighting and injecting modern politics into something. They can't do anything for themselves. They can't make or create anything new. It's all absolute garbage. And I hope, I absolutely hope that this series goes on long enough to bankrupt the studio making this. That's exactly what they deserve. But guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share this one out. And make sure you check out my live streams on Sunday so you can catch all the action live. But until the next one, guys, be easy like Sleazy.